Hello, this screencast has to do with factoring trinomials, and we're going to use the product sum method. Now, this method only works if the first coefficient is a 1. So when that is a 1, the product sum method will work. So what we want to do first is we want to find factors of the last term 10, so the term without a variable. So we're going to find our factors of 10 here, and if we look, it is a positive 10, so we're going to find factors of positive 10. So we have 2 and 5, 10 and 1. What we can also do is we can say negative 2 and negative 5 make positive 10, as well as negative 10 and negative 1. Now we want to look at these combinations and see which of those add up to the middle term, the 11. So 2 plus 5 is 7. 10 plus 1 is 11, so this is going to be what we will use, our 10 and our 1. So now we factor, and because the variable is x, we're going to say x plus 10, and that is going to be multiplied by x plus 1. Okay, and that's our solution. Now, if we factor it out, we can check our answer. So if we distribute to both terms, we get x squared plus x plus 10x plus 10. We combine like terms, x squared plus 11x plus 10, which is what we started with. That is how we know that x plus 10 times x plus 1 is the factored form of what we were given. Okay, let's do another example. Here we have x squared minus 8x plus 15. So again, we want to find those factors of positive 15. So we're going to say 15 and 1, 3 and 5. There aren't any more, but now we can take the negatives of those because two negatives make a positive. So negative 15, negative 1, negative 3, negative 5. Okay, and we're looking for which of those add up, or if we do the sum, makes negative 8, because that middle term is a negative. So 15 plus 1 is 16, 3 plus 5 is 8, but again, we want that negative 8, so that's not our answer. 15 plus a negative 1 is negative 16, negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. So these are the numbers that we want to use. So we write out x, and because it's a negative, we're going to do minus 3 times x minus 5. And that's going to be our, our answer. What we can also do is we can check our work. x minus 3 times x minus 5. We distribute to both terms, and we get x squared minus 5x minus 3x plus 15. Combine like terms, x squared minus 8x plus 15. That is what we started with, so this is our solution for factoring that trinomial. Another example that we have, x squared minus 5x minus 6. Now, this is a negative 6, so we're finding factors of negative 6, which means one of the terms has to be negative. So we can have negative 1, positive 6. We can have negative 6, positive 1. Negative 3, positive 2. Negative 2, positive 3. And then we want to find which one of those add up to negative 5. So if we look, we see that negative 6 plus 1 will be our negative 5. So we want negative 6 and positive 1. So we write our solution x minus 6, and then we're going to have x plus 1, because that's a positive 1. And then if we want to check ourselves to make sure that it is correct, we have x minus 6 times x plus 1. Again, we distribute to both terms. We get x squared plus x minus 6x minus 6. Combine like terms x squared minus 5x minus 6, which is what we had to start with, so that is our solution. Alright, 
So I'd like you to try this one on your own, x squared plus 2x minus 3. Remember, you're trying to find the factors of negative 3 that add up to positive 2. Good luck. Make sure to check your work.